Right, so this video takes you through the beginnings of putting together your final inferences project. Now, with um, any kind of statistical project, you need to make sure that you follow the PPDAC cycle. So you're going to do a problem section, a plan, data analysis and, con and conclusion. So this video is starting us off with the problem section. So in there, you should start off with some kind of investigative question. And for inferences, it should be a comparative investigative question. So what makes a good question? The best way to start is with the, these three words, I wonder if. You don't have to start with that, but if you start that way, it kind of leads you into doing the right sort of things. So I wonder if, and then you think about the data that you've been given and what you, sort of things you could investigate with it. It must have five key things in that question. You have to talk about the variable that you're comparing, what it is, what measurement about that data that you're going to have a look at. And that has to include the parameter of that data. That means the median of that data for this example. You could also do mean and different kind of variables as well, but most of the time you're going to look at the, the median of your variable. Then you must say what comparison you're making. So that's going to be a phrase like more than, less than, bigger than, smaller than, those sorts of things. You need to state the two groups that you're making that comparison between. There needs to be some kind of element of uncertainty because you're taking a sample to try to infer something about the population. You're never going to be 100% certain. So you say something like tends to. And then you also must state the population that you're doing this for, what your sample data came from. OK, so here's an example. I wonder if the median birth weight of babies whose mothers smoke tends to be less than the median birth weight of babies whose mothers don't smoke for babies born in New Zealand. So let's break that down into the five parts that should be there. So the variable is the median birth weight. The comparison that we're making is a less than. The two groups we're looking at are those babies whose mothers smoked and those whose mothers didn't smoke. The uncertainty is right there with the tens to, and the population that we're talking about is babies born in New Zealand. Once you've set up your problem question, you also then need to make a prediction of which way you think this is going to go. So something like, I think that babies born to mothers who smoke will tend to have a lower median birth weight than babies born to mothers who don't smoke. So that's your basic achieved for the problem section. How could we go to expand that and get more than just achieved? So you need to include a purpose statement. Why would this be useful? Why would it be useful, for example, to know whether smoking affected the birth weight of babies? So you could say when planning for future families, you want to make sure that you're doing the best to keep the health of the baby well. You could say that it's, it would be useful for midwives when advising mothers about um, prenatal care of their babies, all those sorts of things. Just come up with something useful of why it would be important to know this thing that you're investigating. And then you must justify your prediction. So why did you predict it that way? Why did you predict that those who, from mothers who smoked would weigh less than those who, from mothers who didn't smoke? Is it that you've heard that somewhere? What experience have you had that would make you think that? Um, is it that um, you have read some research about it? Or it's something that is just a general opinion and you want to know if, it's, if there's any fact in it, that sort of thing. Okay, so that's how to go through your problem section and the next video will take you through doing the plan.